Chris, what do you make of this? We couldn't show the footage, huh? Mm. Well, you know, <laughs> they effed up. So. Uh, mm. LeBron was absolutely right. He absolutely. Was absolutely right. I agree. He when, was. when a team is up 3 1, and then the other team wins the next two to force a game seven, there is, and, and one of those games was on your home floor where you had all, been all but invincible all year. You are going to be messed up mentally. Mm -hmm. When you're up 3-1 in almost every case, you're the better team. You should win the series. You won three of the first four games, and then you lose two straight. So mentally, that's going to mess with you. And when you look at that game seven, Steph Curry, six for 19, four for 14 from three. Mm -hmm. Klay Thompson, six for 17, two for 10 from three. These are two of the greatest shooters ever. Mm -hmm. Best shooting backcourt, I think best backcourt period of all time. Yep. And they didn't play well. Now, I'll give some of that credit to the Cavs defense. They played really good defense. But that same defense gave Draymond Green 32 points. He scored 32. 32, 15, and 9 to be exact. There you go. So meant, that shows mentally, Steph, Clay, they were shook. They were a little messed up. So I think LeBron was right on the money with that quote. Hmm. Here's the thing. When you watch that whole episode of More Than an Athlete, sometimes LeBron with the tweets, the Instagrams, and, you know, he always seems like he wants better teammates. I need more help. I need more help. It can come off like he doesn't have enough confidence in himself as the best player in the world, like he should. But what I saw from that video, not just that quote, but watching that video – and I've, you hear a lot of things around the league about LeBron's leadership, positive and negative. I saw a great leader. Hmm. I saw the, the ultra confidence when when they so were down when they were down three one. After after they were down three one after Game Four, and LeBron was in the locker room, mm -hmm. and they showed it in that video. And I get it. This is his company editing it and showing what they want, but the footage is still real. Yeah. He was in the locker room saying, "Let's just get one." All we need is one. Don't worry about three. Just get one. Don't worry about three. Like, that was – he – I thought at that time, covering that series, that the Cavs and LeBron were done at that point. Huh. I thought they were shook. I thought he was shook. I thought there's, there's no way they're coming back, and they know it. But he was in that locker room saying, just one. Don't worry about three. Just one. To himself and his teammates. That showed me a great leader. I thought the way he handled the postgame interviews – it showed leadership. And that quote, I think it was right on the money. He mm. said just what they needed to hear and just what was on point. Mm. Go ahead, Kim. I don't even want to go. I don't want to go right now. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Don't want to go. So <laughs> exactly which side of LeBron's mouth is he speaking out of now? Because a couple of days ago, we heard that he was taking credit for pulling off this upset, which made him the GOAT, mm. as I call him, the faux GOAT. But... That's, that's his case that he was making. That made him the greatest ever because he pulled off this upset. But now we see that he knew he had them on the ropes after six games yeah. because they were cooked mentally and physically. And need I detail again what that team had been through? It gutted it out all the way home to win 73 games. And they all admitted later, Steve Kerr admitted, it was a mistake. You took way too much mental and physical energy to do that. Then you fell behind three games to one to Oklahoma City. And Oklahoma City was still a troubled basketball team between, obviously, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And they finally came apart in the crucial game, which was game six, right. in their place. And they shot poorly. They combined to shoot one for 13 from three. And Clay Thompson went off in that game and made 11 threes and scored 41 points and saved their bacon. And they got back home, and then they had to grind out a defensively oriented sort of a football game against Oklahoma City. They won 96 to 88 in Game Seven. So they're they're on the ropes when they get to the NBA Finals. And to your point, LeBron looked lifeless to me in Game Four because they got outscored in the fourth quarter in his house, 29 to 20. But a pivotal episode took place with two minutes and, and a half to go in that basketball game, and that was Draymond got into it, LeBron. He vocally, loudly calls him the B-word. They go up the court, they get tangled up, Called and then boss. he... Boss? Yeah, I don't yep. think it was a boss. Yep. It, it, the next letter was I. It wasn't <laughs> O. You know. So, and, and then they get tangled up, and Draymond kicks him in the midsection. This is just craziness, because this is your guts and glue guy, and then Kiki Vandeweghe, and obviously the commissioner, 
stepped in and did something that I did not believe they would do. They suspended a key player for the fifth game of the series back in Oakland, obviously. You think it, it was warranted? I, I Again, but I've never seen right. a commissioner in any sport do that. Actually, just, yeah, it, it, it is. It, it, Remember just, San Antonio? They suspended Robert. They suspended okay. uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Mari Stoudemire okay. for coming um, off yeah, the bench I'm, with Robert Orr. Right. I'm talking about the finals. Oh. That was the conference was, finals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but again, this is the NBA. This is going to decide the championship of the world. Yep. And you take away Draymond for game five. And to me, they were discombobulated. They were on fumes already. And then once game five happened back in Oakland and LeBron happened and Kyrie happened yep. because Kyrie in the la- in five, six, and seven, he averaged 30 a game and he made nine of 17 threes. That's 53% he shot from the three-point line. And he made all 13 of his free throws over the last three mm-hmm. games. So LeBron did have help. LeBron oh, was yeah, great. No Kyrie was great. Yeah. But they, they got help from Tristan in game six. He had 15 points and 16 rebounds. And Kevin Love had 14 rebounds in game seven. So don't tell me. The, the point was the better team won. That, that's why I can't call that the greatest upset ever. Uh-huh. Because, hey, from look at what Steph has done in the postseason. Did he not come up small once again down the stretch of that? The last three games, Steph Curry had – what was it? Uh, seven assists and 12, 12 turnovers. turnovers. Seven to 12 games. in the last three games. Yeah. He had seven assists. And then you already pointed out his numbers in the last yep. game. He disappeared. Draymond finally came up bigger in game seven, but he wasn't good in game uh, six and uh, I'm sorry, I mean, five and six. He wasn't there for five. Yeah, and he wasn't there for five. And, and then Clay was hit and miss, and he was mostly missing game seven. So to me, yeah, I'll take. LeBron James, the best player on the planet, and Kyrie, and Kevin Love, and Tristan, that's a better team than those guys were at that I, point. I will, I will say this, and, and, I, and I've said it on here before, if, if we were at the park and you put Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green on one side, and LeBron, Kyrie, and uh, Kevin uh, Love on the other, Drew. I'm taking the, the Cavs side. Right. Like, that's more than – now, Golden State had a better offense. They had better chemistry. You know, they better bench, too. Yeah, they, exactly. That's definitely a better bench. But I, I'm with you. I mean, I think, look, it was obviously a tremendous achievement for LeBron to win that. But, yeah, I, that – that they didn't have Kevin Durant. Right. Like, you do it now. We look at the now, Warriors now, differently now. Yeah. Now you got I, Okay, it. well, help me understand this. I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing this correctly. Now, when LeBron led the Cavs back from 3-1, the Warriors were fragile. Were they fragile when they came back from 3-1? Against OKC? I think they no, were. OKC was fragile. OKC was fragile. Okay. And How I'm not saying. Rain? No, they, they were. They were. Well, he you wanted out. Yep. What, what just what was about to happen? So he, he was about be, to go to won, Golden State. Did he want out bef- when he got the 3 1 lead or after he lost the 3 1 lead? When did he want out? <laughs> he wanted because out. he was playing unbelievable. He, he so wanted your, out about three years before that. To your Trust point, me. though, what you're saying, look, as great as Kevin Durant is, we got to admit, he is not proven. That he w- yet that he will lead a team to a championship. He was a Finals MVP, but that's a stacked team. And Steph is Steph's team. To your point, that was his team. Yes, that was. I don't. I don't know. Well, Russ so, so was. You say great. he needs to go somewhere and take the Knicks to the. Well, I'm just right? no. I'm just saying. What sh- I think what Shannon is saying is, we compare LeBron and Durant. LeBron has proven even though he's had help, obviously, Mm -hmm. that he can lead a team, his team, to championships. Durant has yet to prove that. And when he had his team, they faltered. Yeah. That's what he... Because Russ is an MVP. Russ is on pace to have another triple-double season. Mm -hmm. So three straight. That's what KD had. Who was the primary decision-maker on that team, those those Thunder? Who was Russ. Well, Russ, because he had the ball in his He dribbled it up every time, and he got to decide... I'm going to go solo here, or I'll, I'll give you a chance. But Durant wasn't good in those. Game Russ six. wasn't either. Game but game six, six and terrible. seven, they both, they both struggled. They both faltered. They did. You think LeBron keeps talking about 2016? This no, we ain't going to talk about that. something. LeBron's talking about go. everything. He's Let talking about whatever he wants. He's got too much time he while stop. he's recovering. <laughs>